Do you want to learn how to catch more fish on the hang? If you do, let's go. What's up guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Reese, and I make fishing tutorials and videos that will help you catch more fish. If this is your first time here and you want to learn how to do it, start by pressing the red subscribe button at the bottom of the screen and click on the bell so that you don't miss out on anything. Okay, we're at the fourth and final part of the multi-venue challenge and we went to the sport fish complex in Reading where we learned to fly fish with lures and the hang. Stay tuned, enjoy, this is what happened. I'm off now. I've got Ben next to me and he's just taking one on lures so just to mix it up a little bit first cast is going to be I'm going to stay with the bung. So we're going to go with three rods so right now we're setting up the bung it's five foot to the bung just attached with a standard dropper knot. The dropper knot is only about three four inches long. The reason behind that you want the fly to be in as close a contact as it can be with the bung. So the longer that your dropper leader is the longer it's going to take for the bung to move when the fish takes the point fly. And then just a simple case of putting a double davy together, wet it. So there's your bung and then all you've got then is this line trailing all the way down from my further shoulder to my furthest arm and that's what we're going to start off with and what we're going to start with is quite simply just a salmon egg with an orange spot again wet the knot and then just tie it tight the double davy let's give it a try so the idea here now is we'll give this 10 minutes to see if anything works if it doesn't, we'll switch over then. I think there are fish moving and cruising quite high in the water here, so I think... Let's have a look here now. Okay, so we'll do a quick switch now. We've gone from fishing the bunk straight away to actually there's quite a few fish moving on top of the water here, quite close in, and they're willing to chase. So naturally, that's, it's the right time to change to something that you think that they might actually come after. So what we'll do is now, we'll put on the worms. I'm pretty confident if these fish are willing to chase and take, I can get them to take this. There you go. There you go. First cast on the worms. These fish will take these confidently all day, look. So again, we start off with a bung because I thought with the wind as it was, it's, it's quite calm. You think that's the right move. And actually, by making the right decision and changing quickly, it paid dividends and you got the first fish in straight away. A nice good first fish to land on. Nice little chubby stocky. And he fell to the olive apps, literally on the first cast of the day on the on pullers. Well, let's get him back. I think he's a small fish. <laughs> well, he just took it right on the hang there then, and I wasn't even ready for him. And there you go. Not very big, but look at the markings on it. Absolutely beautiful. Like a small torpedo, isn't he? 
Oh, this guy fell again to the worms, just fished really quickly, count down to five, start pulling, and it locks up. And quite surprisingly, I didn't expect this guy. He literally took it on the hang and just started flipping around the place, but small but looking lovely. Let's get him back. And then rod number three is dead simple. It is a Hardy Zenith Centrix. It is a 10 foot for an eight weight. Again, I've got a couple then with the Rio Aquilux. It's a fast glass, sort of fast intermediate. It sinks at about two to three inches per second. And then a couple of that then with seven pound G3, followed by two apps worms. So there's one my first olive, and I've got a small one up the top, which is very similar in color. Let's give these a go. Fish on, fish on. Yeah, there we go, there we go. Jumping all over there, hey. Yeah, there we go. Solidly, fish on. Yeah. Yep, there you go, on the hang. One, two, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We're just repeating the same thing, look. I count to twelve, invoke a strip, and then when it's on the hang, just slow it down with a figure of eight. And there you go, look, see? Just like that. You don't need to do anything else but that. Proof is in the pudding. So this guy, like almost every other fish so far today, has fallen to the olive apps, just fished very, very fast, and then bringing up on the hang. But we'll get him back anyway. There he goes. And that is it. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, just drop a comment in the comment section below. Hit that like button if you like this video, and smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next video.